Now we're in Substance Painter and let's load our model. So I'm going to go up to the top, File, New. We're going to do PBR, High Quality. So Metallic Roughness, High Quality. And then we're going to go to Mesh. And then we're going to select uh, the Low Poly Version 2 for me. And then we're going to use DirectX. Uh, if, again, if you're going to go to like Maya or anything, you probably want OpenGL, but we're, our final output is going to be inside a Marmoset tool bag, so that's going to be fine. Our resolution is going to be 2K, and I think that's good to go. Hit OK. That should load. Uh, again, double check, make sure you don't have any hard edges on your model. If you do, you probably have to go back in the Maya and turn off, uh, select the model and do uh, soften all edges and that should clear it up. Let's press F1 and we have the perspective and our UVs. That looks good. I'll press F2 to go back to perspective and let's go to texture set list. I'm going to change the default material to box shader and then we'll go to texture set and I'm going to go to additional maps bake textures here I'm just gonna just bake out the normal maps right now to make sure everything uh, works correctly 2k is pretty good high poly parameters let's go to the high poly input box I'm pick the high res version 2 load that in let's see I think pretty much default should work for most things anti-acing I'm gonna make sure that's set to 4x4 four four. and for this particular model um, these are the settings that should work if you've got separate pieces and you did uh, name matching for your high and your low you definitely want to come over here and go to always and change that to by mesh name to get a better result but for this it's a single model I'm gonna set it to always and let's bake out the normal maps and again this process is gonna take a little bit of time inside a painter so I'm gonna pause the video and we'll see the results in a minute or a second looks like the maps are done that was a little bit faster than I thought it would do and it looks pretty pretty good for the details and then there's the little sticker on the bottom yeah looks looks good let's change the light I'm gonna hold shift oh, undo that and left right click and then just change the lighting direction a little bit and that looks good all right let's uh, bake out the other maps uh, again this is up to you if you've baked out the other maps in like X normal or another program that's fine uh, I'm just gonna do it just because I might need them if I want to do some uh, generators or anything like that so ambient occlusion I, I always like to set this to at least 128 and then the max occlusion or distance I usually set that to 1 and then curvature details I can kind of crank up the details a little bit like 0.75 or something like that uh, position map could always uh, be useful I'm going to set it to the y direction all axes and yeah, yeah that's pretty good on those and then I'll turn off normal maps because they already got generated and I'll hit that I'll pause the video and those maps should be done. The maps are done. So let's get the texture that we color corrected inside of Photoshop inside of Painter. So here's the texture color correction image. I'm going to drag that into the shelf. Ooh, hang on. There we go. Oh, that's being a little bit of a booger. And once you see the texture up here, it says, okay, we're, it's undefined. Click on it, say texture, and then import your resource into the actual project. So this is the current project name is the PBR. 
and then just say import and it drops into the textures right in here there it is along with the maps you generated and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the layers panel and I'm going to say add a fill layer right up here and it's going to put a fill layer and I'm just going to click on that texture drag it over to base color and that's just going to drop it right in looks good to me there we are and then just kind of playing you know looking at a an angle of the box here I'm just with the light so I'm kind of playing with the position of the light to the surface of the box so I can play with the roughness right now it's a little shiny so I can drop the roughness a little bit so it's gonna be right around 0.4 is what I want because it was like 0.2 about point anywhere between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 is looking good there and then nothing, height, nothing's gonna happen in the height let's take a look at the metallic if I play with the metallic it's gonna make this part metallic this little strip with the grapes and the vines looks really nice right in there but the problem becomes it also makes the wood metallic and we don't really want to do that so we actually want to kind of separate that out a little bit so the best way to do that is to drop the metallic a little bit uh, back to zero and I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I'm gonna rename it before I do that I'm gonna just call this base color and then I'm going to right click over it, bring up the box, and then I'm just going to say duplicate layer. And then this one I'm going to double click and I'm going to call it metalness. And then I'm going to come down to metallic and I'm going to crank that up. And then I'm going to add a layer mask to hide all the parts of the wood but only reveal this middle metal strip right here to get the result I want so right click on the metalness layer and say add black mask and there you go so there's no metal being added and then I'm gonna make sure in my brush I'm going to paint with white onto that black mask and then again I'm just gonna use my brush tool and I'm just gonna paint in that area and that's just gonna reveal the metal mask or the metalness through a layer mask and I'm just gonna grad gradually kinda paint that in and worrying about painting that edge so this is a really cool effect to do if you got certain objects that have certain parts of it that contain a metal texture there we go I'm gonna use the bracket keys to get my brush a little bit bigger so I go a little bit faster and then I can use the control and right click and make it grow the size of that so controlling and left mouse clicking and dragging back and forth if I go left mouse click I can control the opacity of that brush which I want 100% and then if I press left click and drag up or down I can rotate it but then I can also do control right uh, right click and go up and down with my mouse dragging up and down I can play with a hard edge brush and that's what I want to do right in here is just play with a bigger hard edge brush to paint in the parts I want so 
So you might go over it a little bit. So you can see there's a little bit of metal right here. Hit the X key and that will change the color from black to white on your brush. Or you can come down to the grayscale and just grab the slider and move it back and forth. So I'm going to set that to black and paint away a little bit of the part that I painted over. Just like that. undo and then hit the X key and keep on painting so it's a nice little thing to do here uh, again I don't see it's hard to see where the where I'm painting so I'm gonna shift right click and change the lighting and then I'm gonna paint some more on that so I get some specular There it is. There we are. Check the back side over here. Hit the X key. And paint some of that out. There we go. Now I've got my metal strip for my box. Looks pretty nice. Now we're going to do some color correction on the texture in the next video.